Hello and welcome back to the worst War Machine channel on the internet. I'm Malorian, and it's time for another War Machine Battle Report. You know, I got the big steamroller coming up this weekend. I am really looking forward to taking Infernals to my first event, and I got the chance to go on on a regular gaming day this Thursday and get in some practice games. Now, the first one here is going to be my Omo Demos list up against my buddy Michael and his Sorsha 3 list. It's kind of funny. I'm actually facing against a lot of Sorsha 3 in my practice. Practice. I got my buddy Jack that loves Sorcia 3, Michael loves Sorcia 3, it's in fact the only list that he's been playing since he came back after the, the big update basically, he's like, oh wow, this is really cool, let's try out the game, fantastic. And so I'm going to be here, my army's fully painted, his army's fully painted, I'm like, you know what, I wasn't planning on taking pictures, but do you mind, because this is a rare thing to have happen. So anyway, looking at this game here, this is not... <laughs> a scenario that makes me feel very good. Now, thanks to my plus one, and after we like re-rolled twice, I won the initiative. I decided I wanted to go first, and he took that side over there. So the challenges I'm going to be facing in this scenario is that Omo Deimos doesn't like going wide. Really wants to be just keeping everything in the center, a nice little phalanx, and I'm just going to go and smash with synergy and hurrah, hurrah. Well, this scenario wants you to be having your infantry kind of dominating each side while the battle group's in the middle. And whereas my battle group can be in the middle, well, at the same time, it's not like my cultists are going to be beating out mana wars. So, like on the left flank, where he has the two sets of demolition core that's going to be a tough egg to crack and on the right he has the regular shock troopers with the bombardiers right behind i mean those bombardiers are perfect for blasting my solos my cultists in the back i'm really really worried about how this will go so he is perfectly set up for this um and also have this burning forest i gotta work around and even though i have a feat that gives me ghostly i'm gonna be lighting all my stuff on for uh, on fire so that could be a problem so going into here, what my plan is going to be is that I need to go and try and just get in there, smash the center, really take out both those jacks as fast as possible, tie up everything I can as far as the mana wars go, and then after I take away that hitting power, then I can start chewing away at everything else. Now, I can probably tie up all of the shock troopers and, you know, the bombardiers with probably my my howlers, you know, between that and like a lamenter, that should lock it down. And the nice thing with all these demo core on the left, they can hit really hard. But I mean, once I get into them, I can chew them up very fast. So yeah, this should be a very interesting game and we'll see how it goes. All right, so on turn one, uh, really what happens here is that I'm going to have Deviros put Harmonious up onto Omo Deimos. I'm going to be adding an extra Essence with the Hermit. Then I'm going to be going up and summoning a... Uh, Desolator from what used to be the good old Saxon there on the right. Always the perfect first turn uh, sacrifice. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to go up there and make a Lamenter. It's going to go up. I'm going to top everything up with Essence. Desolator moving up. Everything else kind of moving up. And uh, getting out the good old Synergy there with the boss man Omodemos. And then just trying to, to wait it out and wait for the big surge of Mana Wars. So on his turn, that's what he does. I mean, he does have the Dragoon on the right, which is really going to be causing me problems. I mean, if I leave that thing untouched, it's just going to come and impact hit into my cultists and do tons of damage. And uh, that's going to be a massive problem. And if instead I decide to go send my Desolator over there, well, that's just going to be a Desolator that's off doing nothing. Now, I am kind of happy that the Demo Core on the left are also flanking. I mean, that kind of means that he just can't really bring them all to bear. Uh, that's kind of more just issues that he's having there with the terrain. But part of my problem in the middle is that he actually has double spells going up onto his Beast 9. The first one is the one from Sorsha 3, which is basically it's going to have counter charge. So, okay, you know, I, I've kind of dealt with this before, but 
What he's also added on there as well is the one spell where if I end my activation within two inches of it, I become stationary. Now, normally, that's just a very defensive piece. You know, if something goes in and fails to take it out, then it's going to be stationary. But what can happen here is that it will countercharge you, and then, once it's there unexpectedly, then you're going to end your activation being stationary. So that's a real problem, especially when I was planning to jam all that with Howler. So I'm now going to have to be very careful with the way I do this. Um, one of the things I do feel was in my favor is that he put the uh, Iron Flesh spell, the extra armor, going on to that the little combo in the back Arturnius, whatever that little combo with the banner is in the back i you know normally i think that would go into something like the the shock troopers but he had a little bit of deployment issue here so i think that's why he put it there instead so i'm happy that's not a big deal but yeah this is gonna be make or break time i need to get in there so what the plan is is this is gonna be feet turn and really what I want to get done from this is I'm going to go in there with my howlers, lock things down. On the left side, I'm going to be using the extra speed from the feet to actually get that Tormentor into those demo core. I'm going to be able to destroy three of them probably and then from that that's going to really take a lot of the power away again i know that in the counter attack he's going to kill my tormentor but i just need to keep on trading in here and weeding these away and then unfortunately i think i am going to have to be using that desolator on the drag on the right because otherwise i'm, I'm just going to be in a lot of trouble all right, so that's what I do, as you can see, because some of my things were moving through the forest, I had to light myself on fire, so whatever. That's probably on howlers that are just going to be in trouble anyway. Uh, to keep that Beast 09 back, I did have to just run one howler up there, so it ended up being stationary, but at least no counter charge. It's held further back. I did get some good damage done on that one model in the center. It's not the tanker. I always forget which is which. The big one in the middle with the armor pierced gun. I get that. That one. Uh, otherwise, on the right, I do some pretty good damage there on the Dragoon. I leave it on one box, but it's corroded, so maybe that will finish it off. So, eh, you know, as long as it's unhorsed, I'm not that worried. Otherwise, my Lamenter runs in there, so hopefully between the Howlers and the Lamenter, that's going to slow down everything that's kind of happening there. I'm going to be going and turning one of my Wretches on the left into another Tormentor, so that after he kills the Tormentor that killed off three of his Demo Core, okay, no big deal. You know, I can just keep on grinding things down. Otherwise, yeah, lock Torrens is up because I was popping my feet. Uh, I have a wretch on my actual Omo Demos, so now that's going to be having some stealth there, so that's fantastic. Oh, actually, I didn't kill a wretch for the uh, Tormentor. I actually killed off my Nicaea because, yeah, Nicaea is not going to be doing anything this game. And so, otherwise, yeah, just sitting there with some D cell and uh, waiting to see what he does on his turn. So on his turn, the uh, uh, corrosion does not go out and the Man of War is dismounted and that's fantastic. I mean, clearly he can still pose a problem here, but whatever. He's dismounted and even though that Desolator would rather be doing other things, eh, you know, because this is kind of a stalling game, you know, maybe I can just stall for a while and by the time I kill this dismounted version, then it can join the normal fight. Otherwise, you can see here that he gets some okay damage done. So let's start on the left. On the left, basically, he charges in, kills off that Tormentor, and then just moves in the other Demo Core to be holding that down. Uh, the other thing that happened here, too, is that with some other charging stuff in the center, he was able to kill off the Howler that was blocking the Beast 09. The Beast 09 was able to charge in into one of my Tormentors I had there. That allowed another Tormentor to countercharge its counter charge which was a, a danger because he is going to be doing a thresher but i figured it'd probably be worth it and it was i came in and did like 11 damage so he did some good damage to me but i already had him pretty damaged that's amazing meanwhile his poor kodiak was just having a hell of a time it was trying to punch away these howlers and it was just like missing to hit and just doing awful damage rolls just really having a, a real tough time so one actually stays alive there and then the uh, 
tanker guy he has there. Actually, from his objective, I forgot he took the true sight. So my stealth didn't matter. Try taking a shot at my wretch that was stealth and making almost stealth. And, uh, yeah, missed. So I feel pretty happy that he rolled poorly so he couldn't aim. Otherwise, he would have gotten it. Otherwise, on the right, he does some combo attacks into my Lamenter. Uh, get some damage in there. Can't finish it off. The Bombardiers at the back, they do their big, huge mini feat. Shoot at Tormentor number four. Do some pretty good damage into it, but it's still humming. And, I mean, it's going to be in a perfect spot to still go in and kill off the Kodiak. So, all good there. And, yeah, that's really it. So, what I really need to do is finish off this Kodiak. And, uh, you know, I should be able to do that with Omodemos. If this really messes up, I'll be in trouble. But I have a lot of souls from last turn, so I should have a lot of essence. And, yeah, I, I just got to kind of grind things down. But at the very least, get rid of these two jacks. So that's what I do. I sent in a Tormentor first to do some damage on some of the the uh, Mana Wars just to kind of get the synergy going. I then once I have the synergy up a little bit, I go up there with Omo Deimos. I'm able to go and destroy the Jack that's there. Then I kind of realized that I didn't really plan around where I'm going to be having models for actual summoning. So I have to go back and do Deviros, who wasn't really up there. So that's why I have a Tormentor that's kind of like stuck in the back now. So that wasn't the best. Also, the Tormentor that had to go over against the Demo Core, well, it wasn't facing the right way. So I actually had to trample over there and then make some attacks, but whatever. He's going to go and kill it now, and then maybe I can come over there with something else. Uh, meanwhile, my one Desolator was able to finish off the dismounted uh, Dragoon, so that's done. Able to kill a few more of the Mana Wars, and yeah, this is just pretty much grind time. Just keep on getting in there, trying to to, to bring things down but the left flank is kind of really worrying me plus I know that Sorsha can also do an okay assassination and so it took me a lot of attacks on Omo to try and and kill off that one Jack that's why I was supposed to be killing or turning the wretch beside me into the tormentor but I had to go for the free option that's why everything kind of messed up so I am kind of worried here that he might find some way to get an assassination but hopefully I'm okay all right, so going on to his turn, he was able to get one of his solos onto me, but not the biggest deal, especially because it missed its, its attack, so who really cares? Uh, otherwise, you can see he gets done a lot of work in the center there. A lot of my Howlers are killed, the Lamenter is killed, a Tormentor is killed on the right, a Tormentor is killed on the left. He is now scoring the left zone, so that's a problem. You know, looking at this, he did a lot of work, and he still has a lot of Mana Wars. There's a lot there on the right, a lot there on the left and uh, that's a massive uh, problem for me so what I need to do here is just kill everything now what I would love to do is just charge Omo Deimos into these demo core on the left start doing those flashing blades killing them all but unfortunately, I got to be staying around with the rest of my battle group. So I'm going to have to kind of stay a little bit more central. And again, uh, I probably don't want to die. So I've got to stay a little bit of safe as well. So what I need to do then is now that my Desolator is, is now freed up, like we were talking about, it can actually charge in, spray a lot of these Mana War Shock Troopers in the front, and hopefully then allow the Tormentor to like really eat away all those. Because I got to, like I said, this is that turning point where I really got to work on all these mana wars so that's what i do i wonder at the left for a while how much work i can do over there and in the end i can decide you know what i can't do enough so let's just contest it so i have one normal cultist that goes in there otherwise i'm making another lamenter i'm making another tormentor i do the stuff that i said on the right charging in there or assault spraying in there reducing all the armor then going in there with the tormentor as you see there killing a bunch of them i killed four of the shock troopers with that one tormentor so that was amazing of course every time i'm doing this this is because of hellhounds getting the souls for good old Omo Deimos. i have more essence next turn i'm destroying the objective so i'm scoring a point for that i score the zone making it two to one so now this is starting to feel a little bit better i know he's going to rescore the zone on the left but you can start to see that the attrition is turning and getting to the spot I needed it to. 
So on his turn, he comes hitting back, and one thing I forgot to mention with my last turn is that I finally used some tech that I thought was pretty cool, which was I used my Runewood to do the Curse of Shadows onto him so that once he moved his uh, demo core here on the left, I'd be able to move Omodemos. Now, the reason why I did that is that if he found some weird way to go for an assassination, I could try and save myself. And what I actually then did is kind of like moved away, like through into the trees, lighted myself on fire but then hopefully put myself that's safe from the demo core and from Sorsha as well so I'm glad that all worked otherwise you can see on the left he crushed that he scores that flag again on the right you know he does his best to come in here and do some damage and contest you know all the howlers are dead now he's contesting the zones so now it's going to be two to two again uh, but now I think I'm in a spot where I can really clean up I still have enough pieces on here so the desolator should be able to kill that last shock trooper I Actually, Oren's doing some real work. You know, somebody stopped by, uh, uh, Daryl, you know, one of the patrons, and is like, Oren won? Ew, why would you ever do that? And I think Oren won's great because you can go up there and do your lightning attacks and still be available to be turning into a, a tormentor. And so last turn I did that and it did like it's lightning through all the bombardiers and did some damage all the way through there. And now I can just kind of keep on doing that. So with all these bombardiers basically dead already, it'll be very easy to clean them up. So going into my turn, that's what I do. You know, <laughs> Oren does the lightning again, chipping away and I think even killing one. Uh, the Desolator goes in, kills that Shock Trooper, go in there with the Tormentor, kills some of the Bombardiers. Now I'm scoring the right zone. The Tormentor kills the guys contesting in the middle. You know, I make another Tormentor. I kill some of the more the Demo Core. And so now I have a Tormentor in the zone where only two of his models can charge it. And if he does, there's a a good chance I can also like counter charge with my other tormentor and just be like making it very difficult for him so I'm feeling fantastic here this is going great and now you know like I think like the writing's on the wall so he does his best to do what he can. He actually charged one of them in on the left. I did counter charge and kill that model. And then, you know, he hit my other Tormentor okay, but definitely tor two Tormentors in the zone is going to lock that down. You know, Sorsha did its best to try and kill that Tormentor in the sec in the center, left it on one box after all of the attacks. Uh, otherwise, yeah, he has his last, last little models charging in here, you know, trying to contest the zones. But now it's really just clean up. And then on my final turn, that's what I do. I kill almost everything except for Sorsha. I probably would have killed and cleared out like the, the left zone as well. Although because my clock was kind of low here, I forgot to allocate out any essence. So when I started to go to buy attacks, I was like, oh, I don't have enough essence if I don't want to just like explode and go away so anyway after we finish this turn then michael's like okay okay we can call it now like on this one here i'm going up another two control points there's no way he's going to be able to kill omo demos where i'm there like camping 10 and yeah this is where we decide to call it so overall, I thought it was a very enjoyable game. It was one where I felt it was a very risky strategy. It was basically one where I needed my two flanks to hold while I had to really just chew out the center and take away that battle group and then be moving out. And I kind of think after now as well that I probably did it the wrong way. Like having the Lamenter there on the right was okay, but didn't really do very much because he could just go and like combined melee into it anyway. I think the Lamenter would have been a lot better trying to contest the left zone, but hey, everything worked out and it was a lot of fun. You know, it's always great to have these grindy games where like I'm going in there slowly trying to kill your stuff. You're going in there trying to slowly kill my stuff. And luckily, you know, like the attrition went his way for a while, then swung back my way. And then I was able to take it for the win. So I had a great time. Michael had a great time. Hopefully you had a great time watching this. If you have any comments, any thoughts on the game or the list, please put them down below. And otherwise, we'll catch you later. Bye.